hi, I am um, Gabriela Mercurio, or Gabby. I currently manage Cities Alliance Innovation Program. So Cities Alliance is the global partnership fighting urban poverty, and we are hosted by UNOPS, which is a uh, United Nations Office for Project Services. And in 2020, Cities Alliance has launched in, in, um, an innovation initiative called Stronger Partnerships, Local Innovations for New Climate Realities in Cities. And it aims at making small scale financing available for inclusive experimentation at the local level. So we want to give room for ideas to become action at the global level. And we have a particular focus on uh, working in formal settlements. And at the same time, we're also trying to respond to a gap in international development and bring funding closer to the community level while also learning how to best do it. And we've been so far working mainly with small local organizations, many of which um, had never assessed international funds before. Some were recently established. Some of these are also led by young people. And in the process, we changed our own processes and requirements to be able to do so and work with these local partners. We all face challenges along the way in, in any project and any initiative we want to do. But the beauty of the innovation, and it's because there's always this experimentation aspect of innovation that gives us room to reconsider assumptions and to simply adapt. Um, so the first project selected under this particular initiative, they have now closed and we are in the process of capturing and documenting the learnings, the insights, the challenges, because we want this to be something not just for Cities Alliance, not just for these local partners, but something that we can share and we can disseminate um, along the, the international community and with other local partners as well. So the learning aspect is something we really care about and we are trying to strengthen this as we go and also learn as we go. So we created, for instance, these peer learning spaces with these partners to foster, foster this along implementation. And we also wanted uh, to give them the opportunity to expand the discussion with other organizations. And we saw in CBA 15 an opportunity to do so. Um, so they are participating as well actively. And um, so far, one of the things that caught my attention in CBA 15, the sessions that I attended, is the aspect that you can see a clear call from local organizations for changes in the system that would allow climate funding um, to flow more easily to the community level. And at the same time, um, there is a will, I think, um, there is an intention from donors to do so. So it has been a very interesting debate on how, how can you do it? How can you best do it? Um, because this is still not clear. This is something I think all of us are still learning and, and, and trying to figure out. So from our side, we are testing this innovation approach, but I'm sure that I am seeing this during CBA 15 as well, is there are many other ways to do it as well and to, uh, to facilitate this funding at the local level. If I may say for me personally, um, and also in the same spirit of the learning aspect, it has been important for me, this is the first time that I attend CBA 15, and it has been important personally to also expand my own views on challenges around climate adaptation and also possibilities for change and for improvements in the work that I also do.